It has been decided that you will be dressed as a priest to help you get away in the pandemonium afterwards. Chenjin would give you a two-piece Soviet army sniper rifle that will fit nicely into a special bag. There is a spotlight booth that won't be in use. It is up under the roof on the 8th Avenue side of the garden. You will have absolutely clear protected shooting. You are to shoot the presidential nominee through the head and Johnny will rise gallantly to his feet and lift Ben off his body in his arms, stand in front of the microphone and begin to speak. The speech is short, but it is the most rousing speech I have ever read. It has been worked on here and in Russia on and off for over eight years. I shall force someone to take the body away from him and Johnny will really hit those microphones and those cameras with blood all over him, fighting off anyone who tries to help him, defending America even if it means his own death, rallying a nation of television viewers to hysteria to sweep us up into the White House with power that will make martial law seem like anarchy. Now, this is very important. I want the nominee to be dead two minutes after he begins his acceptance speech. Depending on his reading time under pressure, you are to hit him right at the point that he finishes the phrase, nor will I ask any fellow American in defense of his freedom that which I would not gladly give myself, my life before my liberty. Is that absolutely clear? I know you will never entirely comprehend this, Raymond. But you must believe I did not know it would be you. I served them. I fought for them. I'm on the point of winning for them the greatest foothold they have ever had in this country. And they paid me back by taking your soul away from you? I told them I wanted an assassin. I wanted a killer from the world filled with killers and they chose you because they thought that it will bind me closer to them. But now we have come almost to the end. One last step and then when I take power they will be pulled down and ground into dirt for what they did to you and what they did and so contemptuously underestimating.